what's up seriously catching up on a lot of videos so you will see a lot of wig videos straight up i got like a lot to do but what's so cool about it is you know some of the companies that i will be reviewing i have already worked with them several times in the past in the near future in the present so this one is a company that i don't know how many times i've worked with them probably like 10 i'm not really sure but it's west kiss hair this one right here by west kiss hair like i said i've worked with them a lot um their bundle hair their lace wigs they have a lot of affordable hair and i will say they are a very reputable company so this one right here is a 22 inch 180 percent density body wave lace front wig you also can get up to 53% off um, because of their coupon code. So if you're wondering how much this unit costs, now keep in mind, it's 22 inches, it's 180%. Okay, the medium cap size is what I get. Um, I can't remember, I think the lace is transparent that I got. I might be wrong, but you know, I will definitely put it down below. I think it is transparent. Um, I got this and this is actually $206. It's 53% off. So girl, get you a wig half off. Sorry, went ahead and styled this. I did put an elastic band in the unit. It does come with the combs in it. Along with that, there's an adjustable strap in the nape and a comb. And it is a 13 by 6 inch frontal. That I did bleach it now I did I'm gonna use this uh, stuff that I use I'm trying to see do I need it let's see first. I want to see if I need to use my tinting spray but I might have to use it on the part a little bit because I kind of like over bleached it right here now because it's transparent I really don't need to um, spray it but in this one area where I parted it at, I did over bleach it. Like, I didn't over bleach it, but some of the bleach kind of like seeped through. So I'm gonna fix that real what quick. What I'm gonna do for that, like a little spot that was a little bit over bleached or the bleach seeped through, I'm just gonna take this Clairol Beautiful Collection. This stuff I use just for this purpose. This is the semi-permanent hair color in the color B12D, medium ash brown. And I just take a little bit, a tiny little drop, and I put it in anything or on anything. And I take like a little brush, just want a little dab of it. You don't need a lot, okay? And I'm just going to put it right over that um, area. I'm using a sponge ma um, eyeshadow applicator. You wanna do this really lightly for any areas. Okay, so now I'm gonna spray on some of my tinting spray in the color golden which is by wig extensions and i'm gonna spray it on the part area just because i just want to try it out like i've tried this out already in videos but i just want to see if it's gonna make a difference because the unit is transparent so i really don't need to use this but then again sometimes you might just have to and then i'm gonna just blow dry it That little trick always works. I always think like it's really best to use a sponge applicator only because, you know, sometimes even just using a regular brush, it will take too much product. So with the sponge applicator, it just soaks it up a little bit. So that way you don't have no mistake. Okay, guys, so we're just going to do the standard as always. Just put your lace wig on. And I'm just going to situate it. The part did come out really nice. You know, these wigs do bleach easy. Um, it does have the combs, which are really good for those who do not want to either glue it down or hairspray down or tape it down. But I do like to put a little bit of hairspray on and my wig will stay on for a few days with that And I'm just gonna fight with the comb to get it in by my braids So as you guys notice the sides are a little bit longer than where it should end at So I'm just gonna take my toothbrush here and just brush the flyaway hairs away first And I'm just going to go ahead and situate the wig I always tell you guys to make sure that you have some clips on hand They do come in handy for when you're styling the wig and when you're cutting it So I'm gonna take my small curved scissors and I'm just going to cut the lace off you definitely need to cut the lace off but you know if you want to wear the lace outside then that's on you you know but me I'm just gonna cut the lace away they do give you a lot of parting space in this 13 by 6 lace frontal 
and the hairline is really nice i did bleach it if i forgot to mention that i did bleach the knots in the unit and i also did pre-pluck the hairline um what's kids hairline is always nice it's not too bulky and it's not you know too thick but if you really want it to look more natural or just more or less like your hairline, then you can go ahead and thin it out a little bit. But you don't have to if you prefer just to leave it as is. But for one, like I said, the ear tabs are always a little bit long. And this is not just their wigs. A lot of wigs do come like this. But you always want it to fall right above your ears. So I'm just going to take my rat tail comb and I'm going to part that above my ears. And this is the part where I tell you about with the clips. It's always good to have some clips on hand. And where I made the part is where I'm going to cut at. So where I'm cutting at, the lace is actually back by the elastic. So, you know, that's just a little bit extra. And I'm going to make sure just to make sure that that part is straight. So I'm just going to take the comb and just part it a little bit more. And just try to be precise. But make sure you have like a nice, you know, good comb to make the part. And a nice small pair of scissors always works best. like I said each wig comes standard this is a standard medium sized cap but each person's head is different and each company's measurements may be a little bit different and I know you guys are probably like that's a lot of hair that you cut off but it would not fit properly if I did not so that is the reason and each tiny little piece of lace even that little tiny little piece of lace right there that you see me cutting away that even makes a difference because even though it's really small to me it's noticeable when I will put the hair up or style it so I want to make sure that I don't leave any excess lace onto where you can see that it's a wig. And then my favorite part, well not my favorite part, but the part that I always do is making my side hairs, my wispy hairs. Now you guys see this lace. I'm pretty sure that it's transparent. I can't remember, but West Kids lace is always like a nice color. It easily, you know, blends into your skin. Now to hold my wigs down, I use the Got To Be Glam Forest hairspray. I love this hairspray. It dries quickly and it does hold for like three days if you put a scarf on at night. Sometimes I put it on longer than that. And if you guys see the brown spot right there, that is actually from the hair tint um, spray. I do notice that it does run when you spray like hairspray on it. And honestly, I did not need it. But anyway, on to the next. I'm just going to continue on making my wispy hairs. And I do bl blow dry the hairspray only because, you know, I'm just trying to get through the video. But if you don't have a blow dryer, you can just spray in small sections. Don't spray the entire cap all at once. Just spray in small sections and just press into the lace with a rat tail comb. And right here, I'm just cutting away that little extra piece of the hairline because it wasn't needed. But the good thing about West Kiss is if you have like a different shaped hairline, their wigs come like, you know, kind of parted that way or kind of like shaped or formed that way. So it's definitely good for those who have like different type of hairlines. You can just cut away at it if you don't need it or just keep it if you do. And you just want to repeat that on the opposite side with the hairspray again. Um, like I said, I prefer this versus the freeze blast. Um, Pump It Up is another one of my favorites, but I actually really do like the Glam Force hairspray a lot better. And I just blow dry it on cool to medium heat and press into that with my comb. And you just want to repeat that on the front hairline as well. Now to cut the wispy hairs, you want to cut them to your desired length. You don't need to use all these wispy hairs, but you know, you can just brush them back. I'm not going to use all of them, but you know, each time you style the wig, of course, your baby hairs are going to be a little bit different. So I just cut them just enough. I don't like them too thick and I don't want them to be all even as well. And I definitely have to have some sideburn hairs. Now I'm going to take my hairspray and uh, spray the toothbrush only because I don't want to spray directly on the hair itself because sometimes it'll get it hard. And just to lay the root of the baby hairs down versus spraying the whole hair or gelling it down, I just put a little drop of the Glam Force gel on the tip of the rat tail comb and then I just place that onto the root of the hair. This will make the hair loose, it won't be hard, it won't be gelled or caked down and it'll just make it look a little bit more natural. I might be broken down but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high though I fail Sometimes I get a bit emotional But then I turn around and let it go I see you watching me from a distance I see you can't decide what to feel But if you dig a little deeper, boy You know you really wanna get to know me Let's get this out of the Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm a bit too much, but I'm fun and games. When I'm at the top, I just wanna play. If you are looking for one hell of a ride, just come and get it. Baby, I'm on yours. Come and get it, 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 come and get it. If you are looking for one hell of a ride, because it was transparent lace, I guess I really didn't need to spray on any of the tinting spray but sometimes the transparent could be a little bit too light for those as well but you know it worked out for me even the tinting spray still worked out even though I could have definitely left it off because you can see it just turned it like a little too dark for my liking but the good thing about the tinting spray is it's semi-permanent so you know you ain't got to worry about it being too dark. It'll wash off probably after like a couple of washes. You know what I'm saying? Even if you probably spray hairspray on it, I'm thinking that it's going to kind of like come off. Only because when I noticed when I was doing the hairspray, you know, it seemed like it started getting a little bit brown in that area. So I'm thinking that it may come off just a little as you guys see here. As you can see guys right here, the difference between the tint spray and the area where I did not spray, I actually did not need it. 22 inches, but you know, check out West Kiss Hair. I love them. They got affordable wigs. This one is 53% off, so you best want to check it out. But even if it ain't 53% off, they got a lot of nice wigs and they're always affordable. You may want to put a little elastic in this bad boy, but they always have really good lace. I've never had an issue with any of their lace wigs. They all seem to... um blend really easy they all bleach really nice you know so you guys this one is a, a three not a 360 a lace frontal but you could definitely put it up in a bun a ponytail the only thing that i don't like on not just this wig but it's a lot of lace front wigs you know how they have that little flap in the back so if you wanted to put it up you gotta like either cut the flap off or really work around it i'm gonna start cutting the flaps off to see how that works just not on all of them but just like one like just one but i like it like came out cute girl yes honey so i gotta go you know i gotta go get some mumsy from school i love you guys stay diva and diva delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe all of the info will be down below let me know what you think of this one right here and i will see you guys in another video come and get it come and get it come and get it